Yeah, those are all nice and cool, but what if I want to hit, what if I want to hit it a little harder? You want to hit it a little harder, okay. Base that held base. Timing. The earlier you hit, the harder it goes. It's always something to consider. Second, you want to be rotating or shifting your body to get help from your body too, not just your arms. So if it's a close stance, you want to be shifting away to the front foot. You're hitting it in front and you're shifting body weight to hit it hard, right? And if it's open stance, it's more of a coiling and uncoiling, right? So either your body is shifting forward or your upper body torso is coiling and uncoiling into the shot. That also generates rocket speed, arm speed, right? Now, the arm itself, when you engage to hit, most people when they try to hit it harder, they get the elbow kicks in too soon. Because when you flick the elbow, it does accelerate the racket. But then once again, you're losing the control, right? So what you gotta do is, wait till you catch the ball out in front. And when you catch the ball in your strings, that's when you can really accelerate the elbow. But then you're in the contact zone on your path. So the acceleration of the elbow is up that way and not around your body. But the front view would be like, if I start accelerating my elbow right here, it's gonna come this way. Right. If I wait till my swing gets here, and now I accelerate my elbow, then it just makes the racket pick up speed and it stays on that path. And so the racket that. accelerates. It starts huh? moving faster and faster. Right. With the wrist and, and the then, elbow uh, right. coming together. Right, and then if you, yeah, and then if you also add wrist to it, then it speeds up even, even more. more. Slow. Uh, well, on. We'll ramp it up a little. Wrist. Now I'm going to put a little more string on it. Keeping that wrist in action. You can just go pull all the way back here. Now you drop the ball here, and then you swing, and then you activate your, your windshield wiper when it's time to hit. Once you get that felt, then you can, as you do this, also let your arm keep going with your elbow bend. And then your final product's going to be a little deeper. Sweet. If you just put it like this, then the ball is going to land short. So when you extend it further out here, you get more penetration on your shot, more pace on your shot. And now I'm going to do a couple of real hard ones. You can see that the, what the top spin effect does after it clears the net, it goes down. That was a good example to clear the net by a little bit, and that's not what you want to be doing. You want to clear the net by more, like this. And that ball cleared the net by about four or five feet. Right safely over the net. I think it went in back there by about a foot or two. Yeah. Yep. And I hit it with a pretty decent pace. It wasn't a little push. Right. What else can you ask for? Hitting the ball nice and loose with good pace, way over the net so you won't miss it, and it goes in safely. 
Hey, teach me this topic. Nice. It's about as, as hard as I can swing right here, right now, not really uh, exerting myself, and look, it safely goes in. This has got a lot of juice on him. Yeah. A lot of topspin. So keep hitting in the alley, and then it'll put your stroke on a path, and it'll give you accuracy. Don't take, don't get off the track, you know? Don't derail off that track. Stay on the track. Clear the bench. Clear all those books out of that bench. Hit your stroke so that if you would let go of your racket, it's going to hit the pins down there on the bowling range. <laughs> hey, everybody. Coach Carroll here. Here with Rob McGraw, um, one of Morrow's students. And uh, I just wanted to talk with him a little bit about, uh, you know, where he's been, where he's going, how, is, uh, how everything's been working for you since you've been working with Morrow. Uh, let's see. I've been with Morrow for about three months now, and uh, I can't really remember my game before. Really? No. Uh, I played uh, on and off for years. I took lessons here and there. And, uh, you know, you think it's just court time. Or right. you think it, I, I'm just not uh, putting enough effort into it. Or I'm not following the directions right. But um, the thing I realized with Maro is, um, I don't know. He just tells, he tells you the, the details that are missing. Right. It's not hit out in front with all the crap you got going on. Right. It's hit out in front because your wrist is in the proper. So he breaks those things down for breaks you. Breaks down the Tells you the details that are missing from every lesson I've ever taken. That's freaking cool. Yeah. Well, I think uh, one of the things that, and you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, one of the things that I've seen over and over as I've interviewed the students is that. Morrow always seems to, to find a way, doesn't say this is the only way, but this is just a really good way, see if it makes sense for you. Right. And uh, and it seems like with all the other students I've talked to, like, yeah, it makes really good analogies and he gets me so that I get it, like I understand yeah, what he's he talking does. about. He's you know? good at painting the picture. He's, he's good That's, at the, the mental image. Okay. That's where his uh, uh, like creativity is, yeah. his, his art. Yeah, he's always told me when he goes to a lesson, he doesn't, you know, when he first sees a student, he doesn't even have a plan on what they're going to work with. He just sees it as a blank canvas, and he sees each student as an individual, and then tries to give them what he can with his private lessons. But I think overall, on a broader scale, I think he's got so much to offer so many people that it's like, you know, it's like a crime to, like, just keep it over here for his individual students. It's like, no way, man. you got to yeah. tell everybody about this stuff, yeah. because all he's got to do is connect on one thing with one level with a bunch of people and a bunch of people are getting help at the same time. Absolutely. You know? And he's, his word needs to be spread for sure. He's mm -hmm. going to help a lot of people and they're all going to go, oh, that's what's going on. And then you can watch a match on TV and right. go, oh, that's, that's what's, what's going, going on. on right <laughs> there. Exactly. I do that now. That's sweet, and, and you I can see why. in the matches. Yeah, even today we were talking about it earlier. This one thing about you know having the left arm out and pointing the ball in, and I think he, you got before and yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was getting lazy with my arm. Right, and he's just you know get it out there because he you see Roddick out there with his left arm on the forehand, or you see you know Agassi was out there with the left arm on the forehand. Yeah. They're not doing it for their health. No, you know they're, they're doing cool. it because they know it's going to help them gauge the contact zone Absolutely. and time everything just perfectly so it's like little things like that that he'll like no um you can kind of like i didn't say kind of like point well i said point the ball and there's a reason for it right. and then you get the result instantly and you're like it's instant right. feedback you're like right. oh i mean it's just so cool and then he does the radar thing yeah so you're like <laughs> beeping <laughs> in on the yeah so it's, yeah, it's, it's totally little... high tech it's secret we're gonna release <laughs> yeah. we're releasing the radar program uh racket handle uh software soon. We'll let you that's know when right. it's coming out. That's right. Kind of a secret right now. <laughs> so that's Morrow, man. Yeah. He, he, he tells you how, he tells you why. And then he gives you a cool little analogy. It's great. Just stick in your head. And you use it every time you play. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's Morrow. Well, Rob, it's getting dark here, so like hardly anybody here is going to see us. We're in San Rafael right now. It's, it's, the sun's going down because uh, it's getting late. But um, I want to thank you very much hey, for your time, dude. Really